the unboxing and assembly of my ARC IPC 4570. Putting my computer into a rack. It's about 28 pounds. Um, let's get going. Not in the mood to do this today, but eh, what can you do? It never comes when you want it. Do, 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 do. And, and there it is. Let me grab that out of there. And there it is. Nothing left in the box, just this. I haven't opened it yet, but let's take a look at this. This is solid steel. Um, looks like four, yeah, four holes on each side for the ears. Very cool. Ventilation on the sides. And let's see here. That's cool. It's got holes so I can put a reel on there because I'll most likely want a reel is the weight of this thing once I'm done with it. But no plans to mount this today. Just got my computer, put that in here, and call it a day. Take a look inside. Two fans in the front, and I have three five and a quarter bays and one three and a half bay. Two front side USB ports. Cool, cool. Activity lights and so forth. Nice. Let's get it open. All right, so the inside looks okay. The um, Lots of space. Out of all the racks, this is the one that had the most space in it that I could find without exceeding 20 inch depth. I don't want to exceed a 20 inch depth because the rack I plan to build, I don't plan on building it more than 20 inches since this would be the only thing that took more than 20 inches. This right here is the snug down cards, but I'm probably going to end up taking this off altogether. It depends on if my video cards and my power supply fit, no problem. But I have a feeling the video cards may be an issue. The front side ports here, five and a quarter bays, with one three and a half. Got the two three and a half on the side for the hard drives. Not too happy about that because I kind of like to have more. As far as what it came with is the top panel. It came with uh, keys, some screws, standoffs, what you would expect, a little pamphlet manual, whatever. This computer here and all the guts inside of it, with the exception of that top sound blaster card. Crap never works. I hate creative. Take all that and put it in the case. Let's see how it goes. Quick point of interest or note is uh, before you make such a decision or decide to do something like this, go ahead and invest in a couple cans of the compressed air because you're going to want to spray it out because as you can see, and I keep my computer pretty clean, it gets pretty nasty pretty fast, especially if you had or have pets. The bag that it comes with makes a nice little shield, put it inside and spray the crap out of it or take it outside or do it over your spouse's pillow. And on that note, you might want to, while you're cleaning things up and while you have things outside of the case, you might want to rip off your heat sink and fan and go ahead, clean up your processor and apply some more um, heating goop, your tin of choice. Now, I do have whatever happens to be the latest and the greatest as far as these go, but right now I prefer to use my Arctic Silver 5. So clean that up with some good alcohol. Um, I prefer... You know, something in a schnapps, personally, if you don't have any. A uh, standby sock works with a little bit of a Windex multi-surface and processor. There we go. Just a quick point here. I read a lot of people say that you have to install the hard drives after. Uh, that's not true at all. Yeah, it might make it easier to play with your wires and stuff like that, but the, the um, actual hard drive chassis is easy enough to remove. Yes, it's a mechanical drive, but that's a Velociraptor, baby. All my components still state-of-the-art, and I built this about eight years ago. Okay, the power supply is relatively new. Everything's all together. 24 gig of RAM, my overclocked i7 
920 running at 55,000 gigahertz. Yeah, it's 3.8 actually. Uh, a lot of people had questions about the video card, whether or not the video card would fit. In the case, that seems to be our biggest thing. Uh, well, this takes motherboards up to 12 by 13. As you can see, I got a lot of space. And you can see I got a ton of space for the video card too. And this is a GTX 480. Let me grab my tape measure here. So going from about end here to mounting, you're looking at a good 13 and a half. And um, not only that, but I mean, if you want to move that, move it, rip it out. Do whatever you got to do. Now these two hard drives, of course, this bracket does mount into that. But get your Dremel out. Snip, snip, you know, done. Call it a day. I have my uh, camera card reader. USB's wired, all the lights and everything else are wired. The only thing I didn't wire was my LAN. Um, but it doesn't really matter to me. It'll work. <laughs> that's what matters to me. All right, that's about it. I'm going to fire this up and I'll show you what turn on and then bye bye All right, there it is. All done. Give you a quick uh, sound test or listen. Not that bad. For me, it's not that bad. For a studio, I don't know. It depends. If you're playing acoustic guitar into some mics, you know, I don't know. The fans aren't outrageously loud. You can spend a lot of money and try to find better fans, but I am going to switch the fans out because I want my two blue light fans in there. And uh, that's just me. I like my black and blue. What can I tell you? I grew up in a dangerous part of the neighborhood. All right. Bye-bye.